Hi, my name is Jason Crawford and I'm a chemical biologist at Yale University and my lab studies the chemistry at the human bacteria interface. Uh, bacteria in humans have co-evolved since the birth of humans and many uh, mechanisms have been established uh, for conflict and cooperation uh, between humans and bacteria. What's interesting is that bacteria use chemistry, so small molecule metabolites, to regulate many of the interactions that they're involved in. However, if we look at the intestinal environment and we do what's called a metabolomics experiment, which is the, basically the study of these small molecule metabolites, what's fascinating is we find out that we actually don't know what very many of those molecules are. Some of those are going to be junk, but others are going to be the next blockbuster signaling molecule or drug used, again, to manipulate this conflict and cooperation that has evolved over many thousands of years. Current metabolomic research has focused on that small fraction of known compounds, and that's led to major generalizations about a very small minority of the metabolites in these complex populations. So my group, we decode novel metabolic pathways at that human bacteria interface. The specific sorts of signaling uh, pathways that we look at are largely immunological in nature. It's basically how do bacteria regulate the human immune system and vice versa. We also look at how bacterial pathways can regulate colorectal cancer initiation. Additionally, certain metabolites from bacteria can affect how colorectal cancer treatment is mediated, basically establishing the efficacy of certain cancer immunotherapies. We also look at a variety of signaling pathways as well as antibiotics. So why do we care about antibiotics from our own intestinal tract? One, they can be potentially developed as future antibiotics for the treatment of uh, pathogens, but those antibiotics also affect the composition of the bacteria that's already found in our intestinal tract. And disruption of this community can lead to inflammatory diseases such as ulcerative colitis uh, or Crohn's disease, exacerbation of those uh, diseases. One specific pathway that we've looked at for the last six years is called the colebactin pathway. And this pathway is found in 50 to 67 percent of human colorectal cancer patients. It's also been shown to drive tumor formation in four different mouse models uh, to date, suggesting a pretty strong support for a causal relationship in colorectal cancer initiation. So why do we want to understand it, this at the molecular level? Well, we've spent a lot of time looking at the structure, function, and reactivity of these colebactins. And by understanding that, we've then uh, discovered an enzyme that neutralizes the warhead associated with that molecule. This neutralizing agent is the first example of what we call a cyclopropane hydrolase, which is a, a member of a previously uncharacterized enzyme superfamily. We've also shown that that enzyme can protect human cells when supplemented exogenously and now through understanding that mechanism, we can now develop probiotics that secrete this enzyme in the intestine as uh, towards the development of a colorectal cancer prophylactic.